I was thinking. with a message from the very own commissioner, the commissioner who has flown all the way from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, to be here tonight. Well, I gotta admit, I haven't always seen eye to eye with Brett the Hitman Hart. He and I have had our go-arounds, but uh, it's a pleasure to have him here as the commissioner. Jeremy, do your, do your job. Get him a, get him a microphone. It's the first time we've seen him on television in well over a year. What does he have in store for the fans of Australia? Hello, Australia. <laughs> Only took me 23 years to get here. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> I just want to say a few quick things. First, I want to apologize that uh, I didn't know what I missed all these years coming down here to Australia. This is his first time in a ring in Australia on television for this pay-per-view. I like to think I saved the best for last. There you go. I think he'll be coming back. It was almost one year ago to the day that I got turfed by the WCW. Uh-oh. Bad memories. So for the past year, I stuck to my word when I promised myself that I'd take a full year off and not do anything, not even watch wrestling. And it's been a lot of fun being away from it, but I'm back and happy to be part of the WWA. I want everybody to know, a few weeks ago, I came down here to do a little promotional work for the WWA, and I, one of the last sort of great memories I had when I was here was doing the Rove show. Rove McManus, oh. rumored to be here tonight. The Rove! And then from there, I went to my hotel, and I found out about the World Trade Towers being bombed. Wow. And I kind of got stuck here in Australia. I couldn't get out of the country. I just want to say that it was, it was a tough time, I think, for me and everybody, at least all the good persons in the world. But it meant a lot to me to find the kindness from all the people right here in Australia. And I went through a tough time, but I'll never forget how good the people were here to me. Thank you very much for that. Absolutely. Bret Hart means what he says. A very tough time for all of us. Now, I want everybody to know I'm not going to be a token commissioner. I'm going to have a lot to do with the matches and how they come out and the people back there in the dress room. I know they got a lot of heart. But whoever wins this championship belt tonight, He's going to have to work damn hard for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, the way I recall things, when I was in the WWF... <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. I recall that, too. I was the world champion there. That he was. And there's not one single wrestler in that damn company that ever beat me, either. <laughs> Take note, Hollywood. <laughs> and then there's the WCW. Last thing I remember, literally, <laughs> is that I was the world champion there, and nobody ever beat me for that title, either. Got a point. So I look at myself, I look at Goldberg, I look at The Rock, I look at Stone Cold Steve Austin, oh. Chris Benoit, and even that piece of shit Vince McMahon. Whoa! Oh, hang on a minute now. Oh. Hang on. 
Not one of them's got anything over me because nobody ever beat me. So in a lot of ways, I look at this belt and the winner of it tonight that puts his name engraved on this here belt right here is basically going to be taking my belt and it'll be his. So I'm going to pass the torch tonight. And it's nice to be part of a company, the WWA, a wrestling company that's got a little bit of integrity. Wow. How about that? Coming from the man, the hitman. So I think it's time to let the matches start. Oh, yeah. Let the fun begin. Uh -huh. Because you Australian fans deserve the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Thank you very much. Thank you.